Welcome to Anime Thoughts, where I, your anime thought, will lead you into discussion. Today's topic is the top 10 horror anime. This video is a suggestion by one of you guys, and if you want to see a video idea of yours created, just comment down below. I can't promise I will get to you anytime soon, but I can promise it will be on the list. Let's get started. Number 10, Hell Girl. At midnight on a particular website that you can only find if you have enough hate in your heart, you are able to type anyone's name on this website where they will then be taken to hell. Basically, this hell girl is the entity that brings these people into hell at the price of their own person being taken to the devil's door after they die. Just a little heads up before we move on is that I haven't seen many of these. Horror isn't my strong suit by any means, but all of these seemed fairly interesting when I read the plot and they also had good ratings. Number nine. Ghost Hunt. First thing I would like to note is that it has horror and comedy tags, so you know this is going to mess with your morals most likely. We follow Mai, who is about to be thrown into the world of paranormal. She becomes the assistant of Kazuya, where they slay ghosts and stuff. It has supernatural vibes, and I'm not really talking about the genre, but the Netflix series. Number 8, Paranoia Agent. I'm going to be perfectly honest, I read the plot and I'm still lost. What I do know is it's a 7.72 on my anime list, and that's a little above decent. What I've gotten from the plot is that there is a dude called the Little Slugger that is beating the crap out of people with a bat. There's also a talking teddy bear that from the life of me, I don't know if it's good or bad. Number 7, Pet Shop of Horrors. It only has 4 episodes and they aired in 1999. Personally, I think the aesthetic of the anime fits the horror genre really well. Count D sells exotic pets that the buyer can have as long as they sign a contract. If you don't follow the contract's rules, then the buyer dies. Leon Arcot is trying to get to the bottom of it by catching Count D. Number 6, Ghost Hound. From my understanding, Toru is having dreams from his past that he has suppressed. These memories are very disturbing to him, and not only that, but it seems these dreams might be a bit more complicated than just regular dreams. All of this happening could be due to the fact that the spirits have started to roam the neighboring mountains. Let's see if he can get to the bottom of it. Number 5, Boogie Pop Phantom. This is covering the 2000 anime version, but there is a Boogie Pop in others that is airing right now. Back to the 2000s, a series of murders happened and the rumors are that it's Boogie Pop, a girl that you definitely don't want to see at night. Now, people are skeptical, like anyone would be, about a fictional character that kills people, but they can't help but wonder how these strange events are even happening. Number 4, Requiem from the Darkness. Yamika wants to start publishing scary stories as opposed to his children's stories. While researching some of the myths in his country, he runs into a trio that happens to be investigating these myths as well. Yamaka finds himself face to face with these myths and let's say it's just kinda spooky. Number 3, Yamishibai, Japanese Ghost Stories. The episodes are around 5 minutes each. They are short stories that tell you about urban legends, I believe. I watched a few and I absolutely loved it. The art style is like a picture book more than anything. I thought the style fit the horror genre really well with this one. Number 2, Dust Maiden of Amnesia. One of the main characters is a ghost that died in one of the buildings of a school 60 years ago. It's more like a mystery horror type anime more than anything, where the main goal is to unravel the seven mysteries of the school, as well as figure out how the ghost died in the first place. Number one, from the new world. The anime shows what would happen if less than 1% of all humans had psychokinesis. This power in the wrong hands can wipe out civilizations, and that's what the anime has shown. After all those eras of destruction, we follow a group of kids in a very strict society with very complex rules. I have to say this anime was something else and just gives you the shivers at the thought of someone having this ability. If you like this video, or my voice, or like fantasizing what I look like, don't stop there. Just press that red button that says subscribe. We talk about anime weekly, and let's just say I would love to see you there. 
We are currently growing faster and faster, so thank you very much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Let's reach 10K subs, and I'll see you weebs in the next one.